This is the Taylor Hobson dual axis digital clinometer. It is handheld and lightweight. Of aluminium box frame construction intended to function laying flat so as to measure in dual axes. It has a clear colour screen and is controlled using these simple buttons. Each axis has plus or minus 60 degrees movement to an accuracy of two minutes. It is only 115 millimeters by 95 millimeters by 32 millimeters and weighs 600 grams. It runs from a single AA battery, one and a half volt, which can either be disposable alkaline or a rechargeable one using an external charger. On the side is also a four pin connector, which is USB compatible. This enables data output for external monitoring. Let's take a look at the simple controls. The top button is on off. The next one is hold, which freezes the screen, which enables you to look at an angle at a later time. Pressing it again releases it. We can then zero the current position as a datum reference. Pressing it again goes back to absolute measurements. And the last one is a series of sub menus. The save option allows you to save data. By pressing the menu key, we go to a sub menu. We can delete any existing data or go down to save single points. Now we're giving a second menu which allows us to start the measurement and it registers the X and Y current position. Press again and again and again we retrieve the data. We can then go on to replay that data if you have a long series of numbers and finally we can exit. The set menu has a series of sub menus. This one allows you to have an automatic power off after 10 minutes or to leave running continuously. The second one is calibration of the instrument with relative to gravity using a reversal technique. The third one is to set the latitude position on the globe for compensation for magnetic field. The date and time can be set in the instrument if a new battery is fitted. We can go back to factory reset and we can even change the linearity of the calibration using a precision angle generator. The third menu option is mode and by pressing the menu key we can scroll through the units being either degrees, minutes and second, gradient as in millimeters per meter and decimal degrees to three decimal places. The last option is to exit the sub menu mode. 